Hello everyone, it is Mr. Step Step and I'm back with another TCG player pickup video. This one came quicker than I expected. This is actually for another order. So I should have completed part 37 already, but this one's actually for part 38, which you'll be watching that now because I order these all properly. So it doesn't really matter that I tell you that it's in the wrong order, but you'll see the dates and how quickly this one came. All right, neat little piece of cardboard. And then it looks like all the cards are taped to the inside which that is a way of saving on top loaders if you're having issues with finding top loaders. And then all of these should just slip right out, I believe, hopefully. Nice. All right, let's go through these. We're starting out with some Steam Siege. I am trying to collect the Steam Siege Master Set and not in the worst condition. I'm not gonna be getting these Steam Siege cards in you know, damaged condition or anything like that. I think the lowest that I'm going on Steam Siege is moderately played, so. Shouldn't see any cards worse than my... Oh, wow. Look at those. All right, can you feel those? Jeez. Those are, like, imprinted on there. I'd be curious at what condition this came in, because, I mean, I don't know if that's a printing thing or this was just sitting under something or in a binder, because those just look like, over time, they got printed on there. We have a Full Art Trainer, Pokemon Ranger. Pretty interesting full art trainer card. It's always interesting when they get, oh, no way. Did I order this damaged? What the heck, man? This order has not been good so far. My goodness. This might be one of my worst orders in a while. And we even have a Cleffa, which this one has some white stuff up top. And that doesn't look like printing stuff, but this Cleffa is surprisingly really expensive. I know it is a card that I think some of the people that play like older, you they use this card as kind of like a staple. Now with this one, I think I've now collected all of the non holo cards from Neo Genesis. So I think I just have like seven or eight hollows left to buy, which they are all pretty pricey. And then we get some more shininess to end this little part. I should have two more parts to this video. There should actually should be a good amount of cards within this video, but the Oracorio from Fusion Strike, not bad, not bad. Saw some play at the pre-release event because you know, you're kind of forced to use it, but I think it's one of the worst ones from that set, but I'll catch you guys in the next and part. We're back with another part. This is the second of three parts within this video. And I think this package has quite a bit of cards, so I'm actually pretty excited. Let's open this up. Okay, very nice. Team bag with a big piece of thick cardboard separating them. So this is another way. If you, if you want to get creative, you can save on top loaders. There are ways. They did put a bunch of cards in the same sleeve. Oh, and maybe there's some special cards inside of here. I don't know. I don't even know if that's for, if they're, if that's for storing cards, my goodness. So there's a lot of cards in this order, so I might go slightly faster, but we have, yes, I am collecting a Flash Fire Master set. So anytime I can slip in some reverse hollows that I couldn't find at that amazing LGS, I will. We got Pokemon Center Lady. Nice, not my favorite artwork. I feel like Pokemon Center Lady or Nurse Joy or whatever you want to call it's they've had some better artworks for other cards we got the pokemon fan club this was one that i thought i didn't have and then i did it was just on the wrong binder page in my binder so i think i ended up getting an extra of just the regular non holo form we got the wall rain look how intense that is imagine a wall rain coming right at you that would be pretty intense but yeah wow i'm getting a lot of reverse hollows this time we have the clawitzer this is from steam siege i think I'm only missing one more reverse holo from this set, and it's the Zuelis, the middle evolution of Hydreigon. So that's very exciting. Oh my, I did not expect this card to come. We have the Mega Gardevoir EX Full Art from Steam Siege. Oh wow, look at that gloss. Dang. Gardevoir Strike and Oppose like Vogue. Some, some little nicks here and there, but overall fantastic binder copy. Can't ask for better. And speaking of Zwellis, we now have all the reverse hollows that I need, but I actually don't have the non hollow form. This was actually one of the few cards that weren't wasn't at the card shop. Or actually, I think I just forgot to grab it. I think I held it in my hand and I was like, oh yeah. And then I never actually put it in the stack. And then we have another bunch of sleeved cards here, which is very exciting. My favorite artist, I love Kimura's artwork. It is just amazing. Kimura did all three Legendary Beasts within this set, and they all have um, hollow forms within this set too. But that is just such a nice artwork. I do prefer these forms over the hollow forms, even though the hollow forms are beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but it's the same story with Espeon and Umbreon and Neo Discovery. 
I am collecting a Fusion Strike Master Set. I know it seems like I'm collecting a bunch of stuff at one time, but, you know, when when you start completing goals, you're like, what can I do next? Ooh, there's actually some marks on here. That's interesting. But I'm missing a handful of Reverse Hollows from um, Fusion Strike still because there's so many rare to common cards. We have another Flash Fire. Heliolisk. Oh, this bat kind of looks like a Heliolisk walked over it a little bit. Sorry, I'm not trying to blind everybody. Ho, ho! We have a full art from Flashfire, this Kangaskhan EX. And a lot of the, I'm gonna be honest, a lot of the full arts from the XY era were kind of ugly, but this one actually goes really good. The dark border with the Kangaskhan, it matches really well. And then the pink in the background, about to punch. For those of you that weren't aware, Mega Kangaskhan's ability is when the little baby Kanga in there comes out, and then you basically get to hit twice and it was very overpowered. I can't remember if it ever got banned or not within like competition, but it was so good with a lot of attacks. You got Love Disc, nice. This one has a little bit more stuff going on, but because of the, the condition of my Flash Fire Charizard, I'm accepting at worst heavily played. Wow, that's definitely a pen mark right there. Someone was taking a pen and they were like, I'm so angry at you Lysander and was about to cut him off, but that's okay. Surprisingly, a, an expensive, uncommon card within this set, but I mean, it makes sense. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or her active Pokemon. That is definitely a staple within a lot of decks. The Gust ability or, you know, the boss's orders, whatever you want to call it. Always a staple, or a staple within a lot of decks. <clears throat> and then, just make sure there's nothing in here. I think this was just for protection. Yeah, this was literally just serving as protection in between, which I'm perfectly fine with, because all the cards, I hope... I mean, you should have seen at the bottom, but they all should have came the condition that I was expecting. But yeah, I will catch you guys in the last part. All right, and we are finishing part 38. This should be the third of three parts. And I'm excited to clean this episode up. All right. Oh, man. They put the big hitter on the front, which is always nice. Looks like they use some masking tape, which isn't as bad as the normal... Or whatever tape that is. Oh! Oh, okay, I was expecting some other cards, but we'll look at the Dark Crobat from Neo Destiny first. I'm telling you, all the Neo cards are surprisingly very expensive. I mean, rightfully so. They have Dark Pokemon in, the only time that Light Pokemon have been printed. Not in the best condition, but definitely good enough for a Neo Destiny binder top. Let's see where the rest are. Well, that is definitely awkward because I ordered two more cards in this order and they didn't even come. So I'm definitely gonna reach out to them See about a refund or them sending me the cards or whatever, because that's actually ridiculous. I ordered three cards and they only sent me one. Granted, this was the most expensive one, but still, now it feels weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, for, for some reason, if those other cards don't come or it just doesn't work out to do it with this video, then I'll show the updated statistics now. But if I do add another part, then obviously I'll probably cut and do another part now. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of a, good but also a, a kind of a bittersweet ending the last part that you guys saw that i got a bunch of cards that's actually probably one of the worst like discrepancies and conditions that i've ever received in an order and there was a lot of them that were you know definitely off from the conditions that they were advertised at so yeah this one uh wasn't one of the better videos i guess overall just like quality wise but i mean all the cards that i did get were exciting and the reason why i placed this order was for a special promo that i was looking for that had a cameo for Curlia, but I didn't even end up getting that card, and that was the only reason I placed this order in the first place, so. Oh well, I guess uh, if it was another part, then I would have shown it. If not, here is the recap. You know me, the fighting freak knuckles, and we're at Pumpkin Hill. You ready? I ain't gonna let it get to me, I'm just gonna creep. Down in Pumpkin Hill, I got to find my little speed. I know that it's here.